Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a huge shopping spree slash collective haul for you guys. If you're new to my channel, I like to do these videos once a month and it's basically just an accumulation of items that I've bought either online or in store that I haven't already showed in a dedicated video on my channel. This one's pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. I have Aritzia, Skims, a lot of Sephora stuff. Golden Goose, Dossier, Ugg, Revolve, and more. I will have all these items that I mentioned listed and linked in the description box for you guys to shop if you are interested. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting off, I have to show you guys my three new fragrances that I got from Dossier. Dossier is a fragrance website that replicates designer-inspired fragrances for a fraction of the cost. I've never been like a one-and-done fragrance kind of girl. I am constantly switching it up, and Dossier makes that possible without breaking the bank. They have so many different designers, so many different fragrances to choose from on their website. So if you guys are interested, I'll have them linked in the description box. I also have a discount code for 5% off Dossier, which is Hannah Victoria 5. If you guys try them out and you decide you don't like your fragrance, you can return it free of charge before 30 days. They're also available in 1400 Walmarts. I'll have the store locator linked in the description box so you guys can find a Walmart near you that carries them. And they also have a payment method that lets you earn store credit. You can select catch at the last of a checkout and earn a $10 sign on bonus. Get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order. I love Dossier so much. You guys should definitely check them out. First fragrance that I have, this one is called Powdery Peach. It's inspired by Jimmy Choo's I Won't Chew EDP. The concentration is 18%. I love a good high concentration. I've been wanting to try this Jimmy Choo fragrance, so I'm excited. Mmm, oh my gosh. Okay, so the top notes in this are peach, tangerine, and black currant. I'm not really smelling a ton of peach, which is good because I'm not really into peachy scents. Mmm, okay. Spraying this on me. Wow. I love this. If you guys haven't tried this, check it out. Okay, this next one is part of the genderless collection. It says, we've liberated your fragrance from a hypersexualized mold by marrying traditionally opposing ingredients for a harmonious fluid blend. This is called Fiery Leather and Rhubarb. I don't know how to pronounce that. So this isn't inspired by any designer. It's just something that Dossier came out with. It says, Fiery Leather and Rhubarb is an unconventional medley of raw materials, florals, vegan black leather, cord, and rubberb rhubarb. This bold scent builds off each ingredient to deliver a balance of masculine leather and feminine florals with vegetal notes of rubberb. Rhubarb. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I am getting like feminine florally notes, but also leather. Okay. I like it. It's not something that I would like ever have thought to try, but I like it. So if you're looking for a unisex fragrance, I recommend this one. And last one that I have. This is called Aromatic Star Nyes. It's inspired by Dior's Savage, which I believe is a men's. I smelled this one before and it smells delightful. My ex had the like actual Dior Savage one and this smells just like it. Mm. Okay, yeah, this is one of my favorite like men's fragrances. Huge thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget to check the description box for a link to their website. And also don't forget to use code HannahVictoria5 for 5% off dossier and without further ado let's get into the rest of the haul guys this is gonna be a long one so i'm gonna try and like get through things pretty quickly but i don't have that many clothing items um but what i do have i've already worn for the most part so i will insert pictures and everything we're gonna start off with the miscellaneous items random brands that i only have like one thing of so first things first i have this skirt from princess polly it's a little cargo mini skirt um i got this in a size zero and like this charcoal gray color and it comes with like a really cool belt but i took it off because the outfit that i wore it with it just like wasn't the vibe but i have this skirt in white i thought i'd repurchase it in this gray color because i went to charleston at south carolina at the end of august for one of my good friends birthdays and i just felt like this skirt would be cute for that so i wore it with this strapless white kind of open top and some heels i'll insert a picture if i have it i know i posted one on my instagram like sitting down i don't even know if you can like see the skirt in that but maybe i have one standing up but it was really cute and i like it with and without the belt but for that outfit the belt just like wasn't the vibe but it is really really short i know one of my friends that i went to charleston with she has a skirt as well and it is like 
way too short on her and she's only like an inch or two taller than me so it might not work for everybody but i am five foot even though i do have really long legs i'm five foot so it works for me but I have to be careful like bending down and stuff but it's really cute and they have this in so many different colors so speaking of charleston when i was there i had quite the trip um came back with covid ruined one of my prada bags and also lost a pair of my favorite earrings so i had to repurchase these these are from sheila fajil fajal um i've had these for like two years i want to say one of my parents friends gifted them to me for my birthday and i'm obsessed with them i wear them all the time like literally every single time I'm wearing earrings. I'm wearing these in my first haul. They're just my faves. Like they're so stunning and they're expensive, but not like too expensive. They're not like designer or anything and they don't really tarnish and they're incredibly light. They are so light. They don't weigh down my ear at all. Like even my mom was super impressed because she can't do heavy earrings and she tried these and she was like, oh my gosh, like I need to get some. So they're amazing. Um, but I lost one of them when I was in Charleston. Like I got back home from the bar, the club, and went to take my earrings off and one was missing. So I just repurchased them and I got this cute little bag with it. So they're cute. When I was in Charleston, I didn't do that much shopping. We just like did a lot of sightseeing, walking around, restaurants, drinking, that kind of thing. But on the last day, I wanted to stop by Golden Goose. I do have one close to me, it's in Charlotte, but I had a really bad experience at that one. <laughs> um, I like walked into the glass door, it was a whole, fiasco so i'm kind of like traumatized to go in that store um so yeah but when i was in charleston i want to stop by their golden goose and i picked up a pair i know golden goose is super controversial like people think they're so ugly like why would you spend 600 dollars on shoes that look beat up essentially but when i tell you i wear mine all the time i wear them every single day they're basically like my running errand shoes like just quick go out the door i don't really wear them like going out like or anything like that but i wear mine every single day i have two pairs so i wanted to buy a pair that was very similar to the pair that i wear every day but slightly different so i got these and they look just like my other ones um that i bought like two years ago except the laces are gray and instead of the back being gold they're black glitter which i think is perfect because i wear a lot of black and my other ones were just like gold star gold and then like tan laces so these are a little bit different but i love them because you don't have to tie them like literally you just slip your foot in you don't wear socks they're meant to not be worn with socks so it's just perfect like you literally just slip your foot in and go you don't have to lace anything up put socks on i know that sounds gross but it's just so convenient and they go with a lot and i love these i don't know the name of this one i don't know if it'll say it in here came with a dust bag oh here we go i'll have them linked down below i think i found some that were similar that's not it oh this is my receipt they're the superstar leather upper matte laminated star step so, i love them i've been wearing them like crazy they are the best shoes i don't care what anybody says I think they're cute, but most of all, they're comfortable and they're super convenient. Next up, I got a pair of Uggs and these are the Taz platform slippers that everybody has. I bought these last year in black because I didn't like the red on these, but I never wear my black ones because I feel like they look like older people's slippers. I don't know. I just don't really vibe with the black ones and they fit really weird. I got my black ones in a size seven, but like my heel is just like sliding up. Um, so I got these in a six in the chestnut color and I tried these on, they came today and they fit. They might be like a little small. I think a six and a half would have been perfect. I'm a true seven, but I don't know. They do fit really weird. The sevens are like too big. These are like a little too small. I don't know. I'm still gonna wear them cause I think they're really cute. And I love UGG and I love platforms. Like all I wear is platform stuff. Like I love it. So I got these to wear. As like my going out slippers because I have UGG slippers that I'm wearing right now. These are my favorite. These are like the diskette platform ones and I wear these around my house all the time. But I don't wear shoes in my house. So these I never wear like even going to the lobby or the mail room or anything. I only wear them in my apartment. These are going to be like walking around like running errands, going to the mail room, whatever. Um, like my outdoor slippers. So. I love them. Okay, next up from Skims, I got two bras. I actually haven't purchased anything from Skims in a while, like clothing wise, like lounge wise, but I love them. And I just needed new bras because I have lost like 30 pounds since two years ago. So naturally my boobs have shrunk a lot. Um, I used to be a 32D and now I'm a 32B, so 
that's fun but I literally went through my bras the other day and it, none of them fit and I never wear bras so I don't even know why I'm buying them but there's certain times that I need to wear a bra instead of pasties so I just thought I would get some so this is the fits everybody push-up bra and I got this in a 32b and in this bright pink color I thought it was fun Obviously, I can't wear this under white, but I do have a neutral bra that still fits from like Victoria's Secrets or whatever that I can wear under white. But I thought this was so pretty. And yeah, hopefully it fits. I haven't tried this one on. And then this one's the Skims Fits Everybody Plunge Bra. And what I like about this is that there's not like a lot of fabric at the top. It's like kind of plunge vibe. So like I wear some low cut stuff. I could wear this under probably, but it does barely cover your nipples. So be careful. But this one's also in a 32B in black or onyx, whatever. But yeah, those are my new bras. I don't know. Also from my Charleston trip, I last minute, like literally two days before I left for my trip, went on Revolve and purchased these three items. So this I didn't even wear in Charleston, but this is called the Devon Halter Top and it's like a metallic purple i didn't know it was metallic i thought it was just purple but it's really cute um i got this in a extra extra small it fits good it's very like revealing in the chest because it kind of like crisscrosses over i might have a picture in it but i haven't worn it so maybe not but it kind of is like a crisscross halter neck type vibe kind of looks like a bandana type top i don't know i think it's really cute though and this is from the brand super down which is one of my all-time favorite brands this one this is called the it's just bando top it's by like one seed or nine seed nine seed guys it is literally just a piece of fabric that i paid a hundred dollars for and i know like i should have sent it back when it came i know but it, i had an outfit in mind for the trip and i needed to have this so i did wear this but you basically just like tie it in the front i'll insert a picture of how i wore it but i mean you could wear this a few different ways it's one size which i think is so weird and like, why $100? Like, why? Like, it's ridiculous. But yeah, so I bought this. But I mean, I can wear this. Like, it's good quality. I can wear it a lot of different ways and whatever. But I just basically tied it in the front and like a little bow. And it was cute, I guess. But I don't know if it's worth $100. But like I said, I was leaving and I needed to have that for an outfit. But very stupid. And I probably regret it. But it was really cute. It was really cute. Next up from Revolve, this is called the Sonia Skort, Sonia Skirt from the brand Super Down. I got this in an extra small. Should have got this in an extra extra small. It's a little big, but it's fine. I wore this with a white bodysuit and some heels, and it was really cute. But it looks like a skirt in the front, but it's actually a skort. Super comfy, and I think I have a picture in this. I'm not sure. I really, really liked it. They have this in several different colors. Um, I wanted the black one, but I think it was sold out, so I just got pink. And I felt like Barbie. I'll have my Revolve favorites list in the description if you guys want to shop through there. I update that every time I make a purchase from Revolve. I put it on the list. I need to make one for fall. But yeah, so I'll have that linked in the description. Next up, I made a huge Aritzia order. Huge. I think I spent $600 on Aritzia. So I'm going to show you what I got. First thing that I got is very, something very unfortunate happened, but these are the TNA Cozy Fleece Mega Cargo Sweatpant. I got them in like this light gray and an extra small. Again, wish I would have went with extra, extra small. I didn't want them to be like too tight, so I sized up, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking, but I got these in the short length, the shorter length because I'm so short and they fit so good. They are a little big in the waist, but... I think they're so cute. I rolled them down a little bit. I tried them on last night and was wearing them last night when I spilled makeup on them. I don't know if you guys can see, but like a full bottle of concealer. I washed them immediately. The stain did not come out at all, like in the slightest bit. And then I like put some, put some stuff on it, washed it again, and it finally came out a little bit. But I'm upset because these are so cute. But you can barely notice it now. I might just repurchase these in a different color and a smaller size because I'm obsessed, but I'm really upset about that. But yeah, these are really cute. I just thought for like wearing with my Uggs or something, like, I don't know, but also just lounging. I don't know, I don't really ever wear sweatpants out of the house unless I'm like rushing and just have to run into a store or something, but I thought these were kind of cute. I got a lot of things from the Babaton line. So these are all Babaton. Um, this is the Contour Crew in white sand and an extra small. I have the short sleeve version of this in like six different colors, I'm obsessed. But I don't have the long sleeve version. So, 
I'm gonna try this out, but I didn't wanna get like a pure white, so this is kinda cool. I thought for the fall and winter for layering, under jackets, with some dressier pants, or even for just like going out, you just need a basic white long sleeve, and this material is to die for. I love Babaton, I stand by them. And then I got a Babaton square neck short sleeve top in this green color. I already wore this, I wore this the other day, and I thought it was really cute, and extra small as well. Um, it does hit me like a, at a weird length. It's like almost full length, but not. So I can't tuck it in and make it look like a bodysuit. So I think I just rolled this up to make it a little cropped, but I really like it. I have the bodysuit version in this. This I also already wore. This is the Babaton Contour Crew Rib Cage short sleeve. Um, so it's more than cropped it's rib cage. I got it in this brown color. I have it in pink and black already and white. So I needed this brown one. I thought it, it was so perfect. I wore this. Like I said the other day, I'll see if I have a picture. I wore it with some low rise jeans just to kind of make my torso look like it exists. Um, that's my little hack. If you have a short torso, super crop things, low rise jeans, and you're snatched. But I love this. Then I also got the Contour Crew square neck long sleeve. So just like the short sleeve one I showed you, but long sleeve and it's pretty raspberry color. Again, it hits really weird. I didn't really feel like it looked good on me cause I like cropped things or either like a bodysuit. I don't like it in between, but I wore this Saturday night when I went out and my best friend Michaela was like, no, I love it. Like it looks so good. I got three other compliments that night and I felt very powerful. I was like, okay, so I like this. It was a win, but if you guys have not tried anything from the Babaton line or from Babaton. I highly recommend, like I said, I have so many of the body suits and short sleeve and long sleeve. I own just regular tops from them. I'm obsessed. They are great essentials and staples and I will die on this hill, but Babaton is it because it is just great for layering. You can dress it up, dress it down. Really good quality. You can wash it a thousand times and it's gonna look the same. Last but not least, we have my huge Sephora order. If you guys just saw my vlog that went live, it's not live yet, but it'll be live by the time you guys are seeing this video. I did a little Sephora haul in that video as well. I had to split it up because I have so much stuff. So I'll have that linked in the description box. Pretty much from the same order. I think I ordered two or three times from Sephora in the span of like the last couple of weeks. But um, I got some really good stuff in that vlog. So definitely check it out if you guys wanna see the rest of the stuff. But I got a lot. Starting off, I got a new shampoo and conditioner. I love switching up my shampoo and conditioner just so your hair doesn't get used to it. Um, and I wanna try this one because I heard good things about it, I think on TikTok. It's from Amika. It's the Mirror Ball High Shine and Protect Antioxidant Shampoo and Conditioner. I love it, it smells great. Um, I've used this a couple of times. I really, really like the way it makes my hair feel. It's super shiny, um, super soft, but be careful. If you use this like a few times in a row, your hair's gonna like get kind of greasy. So I only use it when my hair's like really dry or like if I just got done like swimming, like I use this when I'm like done at the lake after being out in the sun or in water. So yeah, I really like it, it smells really good. And if you have like drier hair or you bleach your hair like me, check it out. I also got this primer from Refi. It's the Glow and Sculpt. I'm so sorry, it's in my makeup bag right now, so I'm not gonna grab it, but I basically saw this on TikTok. I think Kins Nation, Kensington on TikTok used this, but it's like a rollerball kind of vibe. But I don't know, I love my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. That's what I use as my primer, but Kensington, Kins Nation, whatever, was using it along with another primer, so I thought I could like double up and just use this in my T-zone. Super like gripping and I like it. I haven't used it a ton, but I go back and forth between this and my Charlotte Tilbury one, just depending like if I want like super glowy or something that's a little bit more gripping, but I like it. So this I also saw Kensington use, Kins Nation. I'm just gonna call her Kensington, but I saw her use this. Um, this is the Caudalie Vino Clean Micellar Water. I buy my micellar water off of Amazon, like the cheap one, by Bioderma um, and it works fine. I don't know why I got this. I think because it had a pump and I'm lazy and I like things that have a pump. So yeah, but it does have a fragrance to it, which I don't really like, but this is a really good brand. I use their like elixir spray. Um, I love Caudalie, so I knew that I'd be fine with this and I like it, but it was just like kind of expensive for my cellar water, but I use this to take my makeup off. I also use this even after I cleanse my face sometimes just to get everything out. Um, but I like it and I really like that it has a pump. I also got a new sunscreen. This is the Summer Fridays Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Mineral Milk Sunscreen. 
shade drops. Um, I saw somebody on TikTok use this. I have no idea who. It might have been Kensington. But it's clean and fragrance free. But I use the, oh my gosh, what's that one that Hailey Bieber got everybody to use? Elta MD. I use that one, but it's got a tint to it. And sometimes I don't like a tinted sunscreen if I'm wearing makeup. So I bought this on the days that I'm not wearing makeup. And I'm going on a cruise in a few weeks. So I thought this would be perfect for that just to throw in my bag. But yeah. I like it. So I bought this brush. I don't know. I think I was just shopping on Sephora and saw it and was like, oh, that looks cool. Um, this is called the base brush by the brand Say. And it's a foundation brush. I was going to use it as kind of like something to buff out like my cream contour or even like concealer when I'm like sculpting or cream blush. But now I'm using this as a foundation brush and I love it. I freaking love it. I don't even use a beauty blender anymore other than like for my concealer and stuff. This is so good. So freaking good. If you had to get one thing from Sephora that I show you, let it be this. So also from Refi, I got this cream blush that Kensington recommended and used uh, in the color Rose. And I like it. I just don't like how you have to, first of all, it's really hard to open. You have to use your finger and it's just kind of not the vibe, but it's a really pretty color. I'm not wearing it right now. I'll show you what I'm wearing in a second. But I do really, really like this when I'm not lazy. So thank you, Kensington, for another recommendation. I also got a House Labs highlighter, but I'm using it as a blush because Kensington said so. She uses this as kind of like a blush topper, and I'm wearing it right now on another House Labs blush that was linked and mentioned in my vlog that I was just talking about. But I paired the two together, and I love it. It's so, so gorge. And I don't use this as a highlighter, like I said, just as a blush topper. I've been using it ever since I got it. Highly recommend. It's in the shade Rose Quartz. I also got this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation, but I got it in the lightest shade, which was 100. Comes with like a little sponge. It's kind of annoying because I don't like it, but I guess it's good for your purse. But I basically just use this to kind of like touch up my makeup, like after I'm done with my whole makeup routine. You know, you get fallout sometimes if you're doing eyeshadow or just to brighten the under eyes. Um, it's very light, so I love it for that. I'm wearing it right now. I love it, but it is a powder foundation, but I don't use it as that. I use it as just like a little touch up powder. Last but not least, I got a Makeup by Mario lip pencil. This one is in the shade Hue. I mentioned another shade in that vlog that I was just talking about, but I saw Jaclyn Hill talk about this and said it was like the perfect nude. So I decided to give it a shot. It's a little bit too light or something for me when I'm like spray tanned. I don't know, I think it's pretty. I mean, I've used it, quite a bit of it, but I just always go back to my Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me lip liner. It's just my go-to, like pink. I don't know, but I thought for the fall, to switch it up, like something a little bit more nude instead of pinky. So, I like it. All right, guys, that is it for my huge shopping spree slash collective haul. Like I said, I'll have everything listed and linked in the description box for you guys to shop if you are interested. Don't forget to check out Dossier and use my discount code HannahVictoria5 for 5% off your Dossier order. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, click that bell, upload every Sunday and Wednesday. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, which are on the screen and also listed and linked in the description box below. I love you guys so, so much, and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.